And I am live. Hello there. It is Ryan Mueller coming back at you with another um, C++ review slash uh, Twitch stream slash VOD. Today, um, I'm not going to do a full programming thing where I'm actually typing out code. Instead, I'm going to do a walkthrough of an OpenGL um, chessboard that I designed for an OpenGL chess um, that I am working on as a project while I wait for a job. So I'm going to do the code walkthrough of what I have so far, how it works, and then I'm going to demonstrate what it is. We're going to start with the window class. So this is a window class file. Um, it reads very similarly to a lot of other class files in C++, which how they read. You need to make sure you have your defines or your pragmas. And then after our normal includes, we, are, we start by including glut.h, which is a window, which glut is a very unique thing to Uh, OpenGL, it is a utility toolkit is what it stands for. Um, and what Glut is, is it is somewhat of a Windows manager and somewhat of a wrapper. It's kind of all over the place. It's really weird. I'm not, I'm just learning about how it works. So defining what it is right now is a little challenging, but Glut is officially a library of utilities primarily to perform system level I.O. with the source operating system, meaning that it allows for interaction with the operating system more natively um, instead of like being forced to use the Win32 API or whatever. It, it does all of the work for you. So you don't have to rewrite your code multiple times. So the window class, we have a default constructor here. Um, then we have a, an overloaded constructor, which I'll talk about what that means when, we actually, when I show you the code. But what the constructor does is it, it checks for certain parameters and it sets parameters. So the initial constructor is going to have a have base parameters and then this is going to overload those parameters with whatever we pass in. Initialize is the function that creates the window and these exist for a specific reason um, that I will get into when we get there. Buffer width and buffer height are currently um, they are held variables for when I continue um, the program for when the game is designed because the difference between window width, hit, window width and window height and buffer width and buffer height is window is the entirety of your screen. If you imagine like when you're looking at like a Google Chrome, oh, the window width and window height is from the literal top of where the Chrome is all the way down to the bottom. A buffer is what you can see. So a buffer here would be everything from the file all the way down to this, all of this stuff down here in uh, Visual Studio Code. And then, so, a default constructor. The default constructor is just going to create an 800 by 600 window. Um, that's in pixel size as um, if you did not know in programming anytime you see pixels it's in pixel size so a 1920 by 1080 monitor is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Then the overloaded we pass in what we want these to be so that we can make it more scalable. Initialize what we do um, 
we create an initial window size of width and height. We set the position relative to the operating system window, and then we name the window with the glut create window. We clear the color of the window and set the alpha channel to zero, so this creates a white. And then what we do is we set everything to black and point size. Um, I am just going to double check on the documentation so I am not repeating something that's wrong. It specifies the, diameter, the parameter of rasterized points, um, which basically means that it's going to check Yeah, so it's just checking to make or er, for the points, and it's um, setting a specific point size. Um, then we initialize our display mode to a single display um, with RGB values with no alpha channel. Um, then we want a projection for our matrix mode. We load our identity, and then this ortho 2D is what's going to create. Um, the window finally, and we're passing in the width and the height so that it's scalable once again. This is the destructor class. I have not written anything for the destructor class as of yet. However, I do plan on doing that shortly. Then when we move to our main, I'll talk about what this is, and then I'll talk about how we put everything together. So we create a, this is not great, so we create a public window, uh, and the reason it's public is because GLUT requires public functions with this kind of thing when we get down to um, our call uh, display function. It requires a void as a parameter, which is really weird, but it's okay. So then we're gonna clear the cup, we're gonna clear the buffer, we're gonna set everything to zero, and then what these two variables are, are the difference in X and Y for a tile. So if you imagine a chessboard as an eight by eight, what we want to do is we want to make sure that um, we are getting eight pixels high, or eight wide and eight high. Um, so it's gonna create ultimately an eight by eight. And then what we're gonna, then from there, we're gonna um, increment by whatever this variable is. Since we don't know what it is, it's getting passed in based on the width and the height. Um, we're gonna compare it to the width and the height itself. And then, this is a bit operator. It's checking if X and Y um, has a remainder of one. If it is, we set it to one color. Otherwise, we set it to the other. In this case, it's a white, it's an off-white and, and a light gray and a darker gray. And then we draw that tile on the window. Let me close that so I can give a better walkthrough here. All right, down here. This is going to look a little new if you've been following so far. If you've been following my stuff so far, this is um, a command. These are command line parameters. What that means is when we it execute the program, we have to pass in certain things. So argc is the number of command line arguments we're passing in. Um, argv is a vector, is an array of characters for each per command line argument, is what it's called. So, arg so the first thing we do is if our arg count or argc is not equal to three, we say, hey, there's an error. That way we don't get 
some really funky error messages. We don't want that. Otherwise, we initialize, do a glut in it with these two things, and we need this reference here. And then we set our width and our height. Um, and then we create these two dummy variables. Um, the reason for that is more serialization, and it didn't like it when I tried to do this directly. So it just creates a little bit more serialization um, when we're passing things in. And then we overload our initial, we use our overloaded constructor um, on our window, on the main window we created way up at the top with the width and the height that we're passing in. Then we call the initialize function. And then we call this glut display function on our draw board that I walked through. And then glut main loop is um, a glut main function that it just runs the loop as a main. And then if we ever get here, we just return zero. That's it. That's the class. I'll walk. So that is everything so far. And then I will show you what happens when it's executed. So I'm going to make, type a make. So it compiled without any warnings. And then I'm just going to type. So you'll see when it's just that, that's saying, that's what I'm talking about with the command line parameters. We need parameters. So instead, let's say I go 800, let's say I go 1280 by 720. And what it does is it creates a board of that size. Now let's say instead I want it to be 800 by 800. Now that's act, that looks like a chessboard. Um, and the reason the other one didn't was there's some funky things going on with our for loop so they so the window size currently has to be even. There's, there is a way that I'm looking into to change that, and what it's going to involve is going to be something called buffers, which, I'll, which is what I talked about. So we're going to use buffers to make uh, the window screen a buffer, the game screen a buffer, and we're going to divide by that instead of by the whole size. Um, the last thing I would like, and then that's everything. That's all I have for today. Bye.